Welcome to an interview with an inspirational member of the elite closing community. He's actually a great friend of mine as well, David Walsh. So look, the reason why we're doing these interviews is because in the elite closing community, which you're a part of, we have got some like world-class entrepreneurs. We've got people who are like multi-six figures, multi-seven figures. We've got people just starting out. So look, what I wanted to do is pick a handful of my favorite people within the community that I know, people that have worked with us, who can share some of their information, knowledge, and we're gonna look at some of their challenges as well, some of the things they've had to overcome to get to where they are today. So, uh, welcome, Mr. David Walsh. Thank you very much. How are we doing? Uh, I am doing, it's a phenomenal time to be alive, as somebody would say. It is, we went out for dinner last night, we're at a a business event in London. So, David, in under 30 seconds, I know what you do. um, Tell us who you are and what you do. Uh, My name is David Walsh, and I grow audiences with YouTube. That's Which I absolutely love. It's nice and simple. And again, for anybody listening to this, that's how you should do it. That's what I learned from the ECA <laughs> training. So, mate, look, let's get into a bit of detail then. Yeah. So, um, look, if there's somebody in this community right now who's thinking about videos, yeah. uh, YouTube, firstly, why YouTube? Like, why not, I don't know, Facebook or why YouTube? Uh, well, YouTube is the biggest, or it's the second biggest search engine. So, you have that going for you. But what it also does as well is that. YouTube results are also put on the top of Google. So if anybody's searching for anything at all, they're either going to Google or YouTube, and video results are typically the top there. Uh, But that's one reason. Uh, The second reason is is that your audience is on YouTube. Uh, 81% of audiences, um, of the adult audience, go on YouTube every single day. Wow. So... And big it's, views. It's, it's, it's big views, big yeah. views. So, and again, look, um, like if somebody's, now you've been looking after my YouTube yeah. channel and admittedly, I think we had a really good start and then I've actually been focused on other yeah. things. Now that's something we're talking about at the moment. So look, let, if somebody wants to start, yes. like just get started, because yeah. um, let's be honest, some of the big problems are lack of confidence, uh, they don't want to put themselves out there. I know what that feels like. Yeah. What advice have you got to anybody that might be going through that? Um, well, I, when I'm working with, clients, what I, tend to, I tell them to focus on is focus on who you're helping. Because yep. if you're in business, you're obviously helping people. And yep. that's one of the things that you teach is that you're, it's human to human contact. Yep. And if you're helping individuals or groups of individuals, focus on them helping them rather than the crap that's going on inside your head yeah. and how you feel and the, the not good enough syndrome, which typically people, yep. people have. Yep. So focus on them. Mm. rather than yourself and that will help get you out of that issue you have typically in the internal dialogue Mm. that is stopping you from starting to create your own audience and Mm. grow your business Mm. yeah i love that's great advice um focus on others exactly so all right cool so what about somebody that goes i want to put stuff out there yeah but like i haven't got content and stuff what 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 do those people do to get started so so success leaves clues yeah so when somebody has done something like in your niche if somebody's already got a youtube channel out there Mm. you can easily research and that's what we help our customers and clients do Mm. is to research what they've done that has grown their youtube channel that's worked in the future because it's like success leaves killers yeah so then you can see what's worked you can see what hasn't worked throw away the debate that doesn't work and then just focus on the one that Mm. does so you can grow faster yeah great advice really good Uh, so something like me then yeah um let's say you know i think i'm to about six and a half thousand yeah um, subscribers, subscribers. Um, we've just started to open this discussion. So, what for me? Yeah. What's the next step in YouTube? How do I? How do you get that one video, that thing where everyone's like, "Wow, that's what it is," and, and get some real engagement? What's Story the is the big thing. Yeah. Like now, with with the, the ECA and the success ECA has over the years, mm. like because I was there right at the beginning. Yeah, and I've so, and I've seen like not just my own success, but so many other success stories. Yeah is using their story mm. to show their journey because that's what that's the biggest thing that captures people's attention is story. Yeah. So when you're able to tell people's story and like my fucking story, holy crap, um, that in itself is, is night and day from where I started to where I am today. Mm. But you have so many of those stories mm. that you can tell. So mm. it's not about you bragging about you, mm. it's about you showing how this person went through the crap that people are going through right now mm. and they've come through the other side and they're they're successful they're growing they love sales mm. and that's typically like we know that that's one of the things that people they hate fucking sales oh I hate sales. oh god i don't want, can someone else do it for me mm. but you show that 
not only are they successful selling, but they absolutely love to do it. They wake yeah. up waiting, yeah. you know, looking forward to getting leads so, so they can actually sell to them. So to summarize what you've said then, it's the, the consumer that's watching the video yeah. has got to feel like they can do it. Exactly, yeah. so they see themselves in the person that's on the video. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, cool. So look, um, these are short interviews, yeah. and I know we could probably talk Oh, we could talk day. forever. Um, because look, let's face it, I do want to get a little, I think it's important for the community to talk a little bit about your sales journey. Yes. Um, which is not actually necessarily what I wanted to do this for, but you've already given us a, you know, a good taste Teaser. of things we can do. Yeah, so go on then. Um, I suppose the question that people always ask, or ask me to ask when I'm interviewing is they go, so when David moved towards Elite Closing yep. Academy, what were you like at sales? Yep. What were your problems? Yeah. And then give us a bit of context, like by having those problems, what was the problem? Tell yep. us that first, briefly. So I thought I was probably a six or maybe a seven out of 10 sales wise, yep. till I sold to an Elite Closer. Mm. And they gave me the feedback that it was at best a two. Yeah. So that, just to be clear, so this was someone who was working with me. Oh, right. Someone who was working with you, That's it, who, yeah. who was using your, your, your tools to grow their business very exponentially. Successfully, yeah. Very successfully. Yes. They, they, were, they could close a room big and time. And then they noticed that you got it. I so I was it, selling yeah. to them. Yeah, yeah. That was a long time ago. Now. That is a long time ago. <laughs> uh, I was selling to them, and he, he said he, he, he actually had uh, the phone, the conversation was on the phone, um, on... Uh, speakerphone and he was talking his wife was listening to the phone at the same time so you're selling to him he's he's, on speaker he has phone. his wife listening to me selling to him and the wife is going he's crap I love this. he's terrible <laughs> you know and I'm going oh he's crap because he says to me he says how did you how did you feel it went I said very well he says you were shit <laughs> I love that. It's great. So, and the reason. Oh, by the way, I mean, what a way to learn. Like, this is called learning on the job. Like, if you are watching this and you haven't picked up the phone and done sales course, this is why you've got to do it. <laughs> somebody calling you shit and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, it. somebody who knows their stuff when it comes to sales is going, "You're crap. You're rubbish." Uh, and his wife, who isn't necessarily as good as him, still she goes, "Yeah, he's rubbish. He's crap." Because yeah, her so words were, "He needs sales wife. training. He needs sales training." Not just from the buzz, but then confirmed by an outsider. By her so you know, yeah, yeah, okay. no better Let's than you were crap. Right. So yeah, so I was at best of two. Yeah, yeah. Um, so and and the reason for that was because I was using these sort of standard American style yeah. sales like what? thingy, giving all the information, assuming that I knew what they were looking for, all mm. of those big things that you talk about mm. in ECA. The big pitchy. Yeah. Oh, here's I, what you get. People like you need this. Yeah, yeah. Blah 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 blah. And if That's you don't, you're yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Uh, instead of finding, diagnosing the problem in the mm. first place, what the hell do you want? Together. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, let me know what you want so I can, A, know if I can give it to you, and B, mm -hmm. if I can, let you know how I can help with that problem. Perfect. Yeah. You know. Perfect. Um, so that's, that's when it was like, and you, it was like, I got to sort this crap out. Mm -hmm. Big time. Mm -hmm. And then move towards ECA. And then that journey wasn't, exactly the smoothest ride either. Mm. Um, like, I, you, like I spent a lot of time with you. Yeah. Um, I drove up to Birmingham on a weekly basis, yeah. sometimes two, three times a week. Well, we tied it in with the filming, didn't we? Exactly, yeah. you know, um, so, uh, but it was like, it, it, was, it was tough. Yeah, there were some tough moments. There was like, there was a couple of interventions, you mm. know, where you had to bring Nick in and then you brought Tony V in and mm. stuff because it was, there was, like the, I had the these blocks. Way, the, Nick's my business partner, Tony V's a coach. Yeah, you would got some blocks. Yeah. I had major blocks, and mm. I just couldn't get it. I just couldn't see it mm. till, like, Tony came in and he asked me. Like, you basically the three people asked the same question but in different ways. And Tony's one was just slightly this way, and I went, yeah. "Oh shit!" Okay. So you're gonna like for anybody watching because I know there's loads of people in this community who will be going through the same journey yeah. as me. You, yeah. Where you start to realise that awareness that you're the problem. Yeah. Exactly. And, exactly. And and actually. Like it took me 37 years to realize I was the problem and then to start working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think share with us what, if you're good, what was the, what was the problem? Tell us. So the, the, the problem was, <laughs> simple bloody problem. I was, tea, I was selling to the wrong market. Mm. I was selling to people who didn't have any money. Mm. And I was, because I couldn't sell to them, I was focused on why am I shit? Mm. And it's like, it's not, I'm actually selling to the wrong market in the first place. Mm. And then when we identified that, 
through this intervention, mm. then we go, okay, so I'm actually not talking to these people here. I should be talking to these people here. Once that happened, it was like, hallelujah, the fucking heavens opened up. Yeah. God touched me on the head and fucking every, the money started rolling in. Yeah. So where, where are you now? So like you were going, you gone from back then, you didn't really tell us, but like what was, what was a good month back yeah, then? Yeah, so right? seven to ten, five to seven grand is what yeah. was doing pretty much when I started. Consulting, yeah, consulting yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I remember I remember very vividly because at the, it was at the end of the year and I'd set a goal that I wanted to do be doing 20 grand per month by the end of the following year, 12 months. Mm-hmm. The following month, we did, we went from seven grand to 20 grand. The following month after that, we did 25 grand. Mm. It's cash, injury, that's yeah. cash in bank, it's not. Yeah, yeah. So what, what was the key change then? Other than the, um, the mindset shift and the, the thing you told it, what else changed? Because um, that's what people want it's to know. Com- it's just, it's that, well, that breakthrough was a big one. It's like understanding who my audience yeah. is, who, who the hell to sell to. Who is it, yeah. Yeah, what, exactly. Who, 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 who are the people, the yeah, yeah. Who, yeah, who are the people who have the problem and have the money to solve it? Yeah. Like there's loads of people with the problem, but they don't have the money. Yeah, to and solve. other sometimes people might not have the money to solve it, but when they've got the problem, they find money because money. Exactly, yeah, yeah, and exactly. And then you've solution. got people at different stages where they'll find they'll have the money after a yeah. month or two or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So, um, like, what's life like now? Then, as a few years ago, a few years ago, um, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty good. There's been a few life challenges, but that's mm-hmm. not for this uh, story. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the moment, <laughs> it's great, isn't it? I love the way he just randomly starts laughing at himself. <laughs> well, using using YouTube as our right. vehicle, yeah. I'm buying a football club. Yeah, so you've got you've got like a really massive, massive, big, hairy but, ass goal. But again, as like. I love what you've just said. Using YouTube as the vehicle, so you've been showing up like David. You're like this afternoon. You might you wouldn't know this if you're at home watching this. Uh, David's about to speak um, in front of the same audience I spoke to yesterday. We're at the Hilton Wembley, London, and there's like 500 people in, in, in the, the conference. I did my um, my presentation yesterday. You've got yours today. But the thing is, what I love about yours is it's like I'm the YouTube guy, uh, and. And everybody knows you for yeah. that. Like your phone's red, your shoes are red. You know, yeah. you've got some. And it, it, again, so many people have just got too many things going on. And YouTube, by consistently being the YouTube guy, these opportunities come up. Exactly. So I know you can't talk about it too much because, um, you know, it, there's, it's in the early days. But give us a quick summary. You're buying a football club. We're, buying, we're not buying any football club. We're buying one of the biggest, not the biggest football club and in who, the world. And who's we? Like a consortium um, or? Yeah, so it's, um, I've been brought into a company and we have technology that will enable us to buy 26% of this particular club. Wow. And then we will uh, come in with a, uh, a consortium who will buy basically the rest of and, the club. And, and that link has come from a client through YouTube. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So somebody's looking for a YouTube specialist yeah, yeah. on LinkedIn. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. But you can see, like, now the inspiration in this story, three, four years ago, you can't sell for five, toffee. six grand. Can't sell for toffee. They're your words, not mine. Um, you've got a block. You're not sure who it. You come through all that, and then bang. Not only do you have a 20, 25 grand a month consultancy agency consistently, yeah. but then an opportunity like that comes, which is why I'm so glad you've shared. So a um, couple of things, because we're on, like, we've got, Running out of time, I think. We, we want to keep this short and yeah. sweet. So a couple of things. Firstly, yeah. thank you for sharing all that. Great. Yeah. I've, I've picked some little bits up myself. The bit I picked up as well is just that consistency, you know, just like Rome isn't built in, the da- in a day. It's like just be consistent, show up and things Exactly. Happen. Yeah, yeah. As long as you keep doing a good job. So uh, well done for working on your sales. Thank it's you. great. A couple of things then, like other yeah. than the football club, yeah. um, what advice would you give to somebody, maybe somebody's in this community going, I feel like I've been treading the boards. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. Yeah. What, what business advice would you give someone that's maybe where you were three or four years ago? Yeah, well, first of all, it's like going back to that intervention I had. It's like identify, are you selling to the right audience in the first place? Mm. Are you selling to people that you think you should be selling to, mm. but you actually shouldn't? Mm. Um, that's the first thing. Then are you actually passionate about what you're selling as well? Because mm. again, like we, we get into business, we think this is a bit good business idea, but we, our heart isn't in it. Mm. Um, and that leads me on to the, the, the next one is to love what you're doing. Maybe you don't, 
love passionately what you're doing, but it's a vehicle to get to you to where you want to go. Yeah. So love where you are right now in your process. Mm -hmm. Again, it, everything is fluid and you're, you're as long as you're moving forward towards what you want, mm -hmm. um, that's the important thing. Love where you are and that will get you faster to where you want to be. Now, you've had a lot to put up with outside of business. Um, and yep. you know, uh, it's been a tough time. I know you're coming through it and uh, I know you have your ups and downs. Um, what advice would you give to somebody who may be is having something outside of business yeah. that's really difficult to deal yeah. with. Um, like how do you harmonize that? What, what have you done to harmonize that? Two words, and I've used one already. One is love, yeah. second one is gratitude. Yeah. Um, with my particular situation, um, that was the thing that actually kept us moving forward is that when, I, I won't go into details, but sorry was used quite a lot yeah. for the particular situation we were in. Yeah. And I said, we don't do sorry here. Mm. What do we do? And they would say, thank you. I love you. Beautiful. And no matter, like if you are having a challenging day and mm. somebody's giving you shit, turn around to them and say, thank you, I love you. Because the thing is, is that they're actually highlighting one area of your life that you haven't dealt with. Mm. And that's what I, I, I quickly learned. It's like when I have a, a customer or a client where things go wrong, mm. I'm looking at, well, what is it in me mm. that I can change, A, so that A, I can rectify this as quickly as possible, and B, mm. what did I do that caused love this it. in the first place? Matt, it's, Matt, because everything, you, everything that happens to you is because of you. You are the center of your own yeah. freaking universe. Love it. Um, so that's one thing that I, I practice every single fucking day is like love and gratitude. It's like, thank you. I love you. Even love for it. this shit that happens. Love it, Matt. It's like amazing. All right, cool. Thank you. Um, before you go then, if you are listening to this and you go, wow, love David. Uh, you can see great guy, uh, great message. Uh, how do they get hold of you? Um, go to my website, davidwaltonline.com. Do a search for David Walsh Online, you'll find me. Or if you just want some free advice, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash David Walsh Online. Leave me a comment, subscribe, whatever you want, feel like doing, but watch a load of videos because that's always good. And uh, reach out and connect. Thank you very much for being here. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. See you all soon. Elite closes.